Hello, welcome back. Last time I put in some work on Reach for the Stars, and at least picked out some goals to do, and made a little bit of headway toward doing them. So let's go back over what I understand, uh, and see if, how much I can remember. This dies from something sacrificing there, which has to happen for the rest of the puzzle anyway. Yeah, okay. So basically this sacrifice altar... I'm not sure if the slug really does much of anything. It does, I can kill these with... well, I can't kill the... Um, anyway, don't worry about it. I had a way to deal with this bomb bug. I lured it south... Uh, and then... After that, I scared it east, which allowed me to... Uh, east by one. Or west by one if you need to come back. Which allowed me to get in and live and stay in. Okay. Now, reason I want to go in here. The crux of what I'm trying to accomplish right now is to fill these in with blocks. To fill those in with blocks, somebody has to carry them in behind me, and I'm pretty sure that somebody is... One of you two, probably this one. Maybe this one. Now, the problem I ran into when I tried to do that before... Well, there were several... So, for one thing, the first... The, the block that goes here at 18... Uh, 19... 6... Has to be the one with the angry eye on it. Because nobody else is shooting this statue, so I know exactly where this is going. It's here. For one thing, that gets rid of my monster block, but I'm done with fear at that point. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, unless I need to use it for these, but you know, I'll worry about that later. So, right. Angry Eye has to go here. Therefore, this has to be... Hmm. I think it has to be the bottom one in the stack. Could it be the top one? Could it be the top one somehow? Now, there's also the fact that an explosion needs to go off here, and you're not going to do it. So I think that's Bombug F. That's yeah, so not going to be B. I still don't know for sure who's sacrificing here, but, like, options open up if an explosion happens here or here. So, basically my focus today... Oh, right, this door has to open first, and that has that flying snake on it. Suppose I wanted to pull you out, stash you somewhere, and sacrifice someone else here. Who would that someone else be? I think the only candidate is Bombug F, who I need to blow this up. Unless I could save A and... No, wait, how would that happen? Why is this? This bothers me because I don't understand it. And I feel like I need to. It's the only things those connect to. No wires running anywhere else. I can see that clearly now. Okay, so what's the problem with stacking on snake number one? Problem is this door is not open. Therefore I'm using snake number one to open it. But that only opens this, so no. I I can't sacrifice something both here and here, it's one or the other. Ah, so, okay, so I have a sacrifice budget issue, don't I? Ah, this is a statue. This is a statue. This is a statue. Statue goes here. Got it, got it. That makes more sense, I think. If the explosion that could happen in one of these two tiles happens here, that would remove the rubble. Actually, it doesn't even matter. It's fine to have- oh, well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could clear the room and leave and come back. Yeah, it's completely fine to have a rubble here indefinitely. Like, rubble can permanently go there. Unless there's some subtle thing I'm not understanding that would cause a problem with that. I think rubble can indefinitely go here. And I do not have another job for this statue as far as I've been able to tell. So, let's make that- let's make that step one. Which I will do by... Oh right, you can wake up, that's fine. I'll do it this way. You're fine, that's totally okay. 
Okay. That's okay, I don't need that trap door, I'm pretty sure. On the route that I'm on. So, cool. Uh, that may have happened too early, because now I get two flying snakes at once. Ah. Oh, no, this is fine. If this is open, ah, if this is open, then I can make the kill here standing there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is quite good. A lot of things are twitching around. <laughs> okay, this is... I'm feeling good about this. I can release that whenever I want. Yeah, I got a little snake chase going on here. That's okay. That's actually more than okay. That's completely no problem at all. Let's see. I'm going to want to bracket you somewhere. Here would be ideal. Is that easy to do? Whoop, whoop, whoop. If I go here... And then I pull you up that way, and then I put you there-ish. That hasn't done it yet, so let's go up a little more north or something. Sure. Alright, you're bracketed. Then you follow closely behind me. Sacrifice here! Hey! This feels good! Okay. Alright, so I like things that are happening. One problem is I haven't scared this bum bug yet. I can probably do that at the same time as everything else. Except I have, like, a lot of stacking and stuff to do. Okay, let's back up. So, I've proven I can have this door open with one flying snake remaining. And that was a thing I didn't understand how to do last time. Now, how about the stacking task? I could believe I'm never filling this in. If I never fill this in, is a stack of two good enough? Okay, is a stack of two good enough? First of all, let's deal with the bum bug here. I'm starting to feel like I understand enough of the pieces here to get this to happen. Whoop. <laughs> so, Angry Eye is the bottom one. Bomb bug goes on top, which means I stack like that, <laughs> like this. Then I'm gonna end up priming you, huh? I got an idea. Check this out. Now I can just leave that, and that's fairly well neutralized. This, however, could... Why can't I just kill this? Because I need this bomb bug to die. Why is that a problem? Can't I go there myself when this is inert? Sure looks like it to me. I should just kill this angry eye. Or not worry about what's happening here, because I'm not interacting with this part of the room yet, so just whatever. I'll just leave it in the state that it's in, and see how far I can get with that. Alright, so you need to go here. Then I need to get up high. Everything remains retrievable. I need a stack. Oops, okay. I need a stack. Here. Okay, moving with purpose. Now... Now I gotta get that on a flying snake's head. That's doable. Have I done that before? I might have, I'm not sure. Alright, push blocks, I don't know what I'm doing with the rest of you yet. Just go somewhere. Not too in the way. Oops. So, right, I could like build brackets out of these if I wanted to. There's lots of stuff I could do with them. You just sit here for now. So put this on a flying snake's head. Yeah, let's build a custom bracket for that. Whoops! Okay. Well, I still have a monster block at surface level. However... Well, I want to use it now, then. Alright, you be afraid while I put these in a better spot. Here's fine. This is my stash space. 
Okay, now I can build a custom bracket if I need to. Also, there's a simpler way to get something on a snake's head. Check it out. That'll make it nice and easy. Kinda. Mmm, I'm a little off. Okay, custom brackets. I'm doing this because it, because uh, there's the button. Because <laughs> it lets me do that. Okay. I uh, got a little bit of a snake chase going on here. Ooh, a lot of a snake chase going on here. Okay. Um, I have a lot of tasks I need to do. <laughs> My bracket happened to get something in it. Can I work with this? Yee, no, not quite. Maybe this way would work? Actually, this will be fine. Here we go. Alright, you're there. You sacrifice that. Great. And now I'm ready to lead this in here. It needs to be at a distance. That's okay. I can do that. I think the simplest way to get distance... I'm not worried about my what my push blocks are doing. Simplest way to get distance is this. Nothing to it. Okay, you will come toward me. And you will arrive... Ah, if I step here, I can bring you down. Still no idea what this mechanism is about, but I just won't interact with it. Shoot the other way. Thank you. Now go away. Thank you. Now explode. Thank you. Hey! Okay, this is a good puzzle state. Query, what gets sacrificed here? It's gonna have to be one of these bomb bugs at this point. So that's what you're for, in theory. Oh, I have no way to get a bomb bug in. Not with that gone. Oh. Okay. New issue emerges. Okay, so I no longer have any possible sacrifices for this unless I can, like, explode something across? Not with a single explosion. I would need more. Okay. So that's how far that got me. By the way, this bomb bug's dying. Add that one. Hold up, I have... more problems here? No, 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 can't I deal with that uh, now? If I don't need these anymore... Oh! I'd never noticed this was in line with that angry eye. That's why that... Mm, still doesn't seem to matter. I'm sure it does for some reason. But it still doesn't seem to, because I could—I would totally had enough time with that snake dodge to uh, to toggle that myself if I needed to. Okay, so still unclear on this, but at least I understand a little more about it now. So yeah, my only outstanding problem here is just... Wait a second. Okay, this bomb bug cannot go here, that's impossible, because that's a prerequisite for getting it out. Okay, so I'm doing this much earlier in the process than I thought. Okay, so then my question becomes, could it have been... Bomb bug F who went here? No, because bomb bug F had to blow these up. No. Waypoint travel looks funny during redo. So, okay. I think my biggest waste is bomb bug A, isn't it? How the heck you wanna not waste bomb bug A though? Like that's a guaranteed waste. There's nothing I can do about that one. That's just an obstacle, right?
so, all right. So statue B was used productively on Sacrifice Altar 199. Flying Snake A was used on Sacrifice Altar 68. Flying Snake B, maybe in the other order, I don't know which was which, was used to carry things across here. Did I not... I have an extra push block right now. <sighs> okay, so really, Sacrifice Altar 17.8 is my biggest problem right now. I do not know what to do with it. I don't know why this mechanism exists. Like, I kind of understand what it does. If this is primed, and that goes up, these both blow up instead of me being able to pull one of these out. But, like, I am past the point where I would want to pull one out, unless I can get it in here. So the... Maybe the issue with statue going here is that this trapdoor drops. Got some weird, wild ideas. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can make this work, but... Okay. I can reset and I can go back to where I was, but I think it's okay to just redo. Uh, I can do better than that. How long is my character limit for these? Oh, I didn't... Oh, it's 128! I did put one in, and I do report on it. Okay. <laughs> for a second, I wasn't sure. That is way longer than it needs to be. But hey, it's better for it to be way longer than it needs to be than... Uh, what does that look like if it's if it is too long? Okay, just truncates. And here it shows the full thing as much as it can. Oh, wait a second. Uh, what's the widest character? I think lowercase w might be slightly wider. Ah, that one doesn't truncate. I should fix that to truncate the screen width. Or word wrap. Uh, I could word wrap. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta think about these things. I'm doing UI design. They matter. Okay, so anyway. Uh, right, so reset. Reset. Oh, what wacky ideas was I having? I'm just gonna get rid of you, because I don't understand your purpose yet. This is real goofy. Mm. It doesn't work. The shape is wrong. Oh! Mm. I can fix the shape. Is that why that pillar's there? Is that really why that pillar's there? No! Hey, could I do that later? No, I needed all these push blocks. And now I don't have two of them. Okay, no, that's, that's going nowhere good. <laughs> don't like that. So... Without touching a statue, how much stacking can I do here? Not as much as I need to, because... Here, go away. You're fine. I got an idea. Yeah, I can make that happen. Okay, I can make it happen without the extra block. 
Oh, are you sure about that? No. True. But let's pretend. So I'm at the altitude right now, using only one block. That block can be dropped on the ground here if you're the snake of sacrifice there. And this is a great little yeah, see this is maybe this is why the pillar is there. For that to be a functioning bracket that I can just get off like that. Okay, so flying snake B would be the sacrifice on this. I'd get the push block back. Do I need it? Probably. What for though? Okay, now, before I do that, there's a lot of other stuff I need to do first. Or at least some other stuff. This. Arr. This goes here. Is that gonna mess me up? Maybe a little. Mm, no. All of that is fine. Uh, that a little less so. You guy, uh, yeah, mm, just like, just be for a moment. Actually, that's great. Okay. Okay. So without touching the statue at all, I've made this stack. Cool. So that's a resource preserved. And doesn't that mean you can go here? No, because I need a sacrifice for this. Could it be that? No, then who goes here? The statue? No, because it would clutter it up. Which of these can be done late? Hey, wait a second! Oh, I just realized something. I can, uh... Well, no. No, I still have to be up here. Even if I could, I was thinking bring Flying Snake in this route and have it meet me there, but the meet me there part requires me to be here. There's some potential for, like, taxiing? Since I'm all the way up at this elevation, and you could, like, you could push a block with me on it here? And I could just kill that from up high. Doesn't feel like I'm doing the room right if I'm doing it that way. Also, not sure how I'd pull that off. There might be ways. Hmm. So from this state. My monster allocations. I, I haven't... There's some setup here that I haven't done. That's fine. My monster allocations. Like, this is the waste. This one just as an obstacle, but how can I possibly get it anywhere? Like, the only way I'm imagining is if, like, I pulled it down, scared it east, scared it north, then preserved it by putting it up high, but then I'm not standing in a good place to push stuff south, so no. So intriguingly, if I would pull a flying snake in here, and travel to this... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could keep it in this row until I want to pull it that way. Because yeah, check it out. To blow up the bomb bug that's here. East, east, west, east, south. No, never mind. 
then it would go on the this. Okay. Without sacrificing the statue on... Okay, so, so, right. Once more. Monster allocations. My planned locations for flying snakes to die are here, which is not an altar. Here, which is... Well, flying snakes, all monsters. So, flying snake, flying snake. Statue on one of these, but then I'm out of monsters. Bomb bug, that's not on an altar. Could it be? I, only if I had another explosion there. Good luck with that. Angry eye there, that can't be on an altar. I'm just one monster short. So who's my wild card? Is it you? If I did this early enough, none of these can be deferred. I guess what I am in need of is a, an understanding of how to kill something here. Getting, like, wild ideas about putting a statue on a porter, then having it carry it over here, and then, like, I'm heading in, and I awaken it, and it comes toward me, and I step there and kill it. This is all grassy. I guess just to make sure I'm not considering doing a bomb bug there. Just putting a statue on one of these feels like a waste. It feels like it's important that it's on a block. How could I sweep up this poison? There was a bug in the game a few versions ago where a flying snake carrying a block would sweep poison. But that's gone. Now it just goes right over it harmlessly. Well... <laughs> Harmlessly, sure. It does not harm the poison. I mean, things that can clean this up. Monster dying on it, no good, because I don't have enough. Push block going across it. Cool, you're starting to get somewhere, but then that has problems. This is close enough that I could bridge to here. And a uh, statue going across, which is a problem because it drops that. I could have statue clean one and push block clean the other? Statues can go through water, does that matter somewhere? Okay, so here's something I like. If a flying snake were my sacrifice at 19.9, it could bring the statue to that spot, putting it close to where it needs to be for me to theoretically awaken it, get it here, and kill it. I... this just doesn't feel like something that's gonna happen, though. Like, what are the moves that would take? Impossible ones. Absolutely impossible ones. No, there's no way. Right?
When I'm in here, I can't gain elevation. If there's an up high statue, somewhere in this general area, it would have to be here? If I'm okay with losing the push block and... Well, actually, I'd keep the waypoint. No, I have to travel out of here, so no. No, no. It would have to be here, because then I could travel there and push it out of the way. So, statue up high here. Number of turns. Awakening, move, 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 then it has to die. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Tall grass is only one tall. I can put this here and see he's right over it. I was thinking of like getting up here, bridging across, getting into the statue's line of sight at the right time. Problem is I'm always in it. That's the problem. But if I could delay, oh, and then there's the poison to deal with too. It's just like a lot going on right here. This altar, this is the impossible altar. Okay, one more time, candidate monsters. Flying snake and statue, it's one of those two. It's not bomb bug. And it's certainly not angry eye. And I don't have a slug, and it's certainly not monster block. So what's dying here is either a flying snake or a statue. Bombug is a remote third possibility, but I don't think it's happening. So for a statue, I either have to be able to stand here, which means the rubble's gone, which means the explosion's gone off, which means... Both of these altars have already been used. No, really, just this one. Yeah, no matter how I look at it, I'm not killing a flying snake here from the east. False. That's not true at all. No, I've done that. Wait, hold on. What if I just did that? I can do that at the start. Not quite. I'm one push block short of being able to do that at the start. However... Okay, how would that help me? Get us back to how it was. I don't know how I did what I did. It was something like this, sure. Mm. Whatever, good enough. So... Mm, I, just, I don't know, I like to sit in this spot. There. <laughs> So if I bridged over first, stepped on this door, and killed a flying snake on there very early on. I would not have a second one until a sacrifice was made there, which could be statue. If it's statue, I can just do it right away. I could just do it right away. So statue here, flying snake there. That's not different from what I did before, though. Okay, so the problem I ran into was I had no one for this. Because the other flying snake just dies there, then I'm out of monsters. Let's think about this another way. If I could get this bomb bug out, which is what sacrificing here early would allow me to do, what altar could it go on? This one. I could scare it into place and blow it up there. That would make this the first altar I sacrifice on. Because I wouldn't want that to happen first. Or sorry, the second. This would be the first. So who? Statue. Okay, so how? Statue. 
So trying to sacrifice here before I've blown these up. If only I could convince the statue to use a waypoint. <laughs> that uh, might do something. Okay, different idea. Mm, I don't think it works. Alright, let's play with it. Shoot. Just to see what happens. As this doesn't feel like it'll lead anywhere good, but I don't know that. Like, something vaguely similar to that? Like, that's definitely not it. Like, really, really not at all. But something like that... After this, I now want to be here up high. Yeah, I want a lot of things. <sighs> Problem is I need my push blocks back for eventually putting in that water. So even if I would sacrifice them to do poison things there, I I just... That would jam me up for the rest of the puzzle. Who is dying here and how? I feel like I'm actually kind of close now. Like, I'm sort of close-ish to having this all cracked. It's just... I got like this altar and that bomb bug, which is tied to that altar. So this altar. This is my outstanding problem. And it could be that I'm just, like, not even vaguely on the route yet. So let's verbalize the full plan as I understood it. Actually, yeah, okay. So with one hypothetical piece, let's verbalize the rest. Let's imagine I could teleport this statue here, teleport leaf here, make the kill on the altar, delete this poison too. Or, sure, teleport leaf here, if I'm just pretending. So statue here, this sacrifice made, as the first-ish one. I suppose... This flying snake just gets bracketed for a bit. I then... Pull out this bomb bug. Let's pretend it's still alive, I guess. So pretend that bomb bug is still alive. I'd pull it a bit further by doing, I don't know, something like this. You go away. Alright, bomb bug's in the ground now. Uh, it's one more north now. Oops. Alright, statue rubble, you just, just don't be. Doing hypothetical things here. Alright, bomb bugs there, bomb bugs norther. I push this over. Go away, just sit in the corner. Um, before I did that, I pulled it south one more. Okay, bomb bug is here, I think. And then I guess I could just. Where's this flying snake gone? Nowhere in particular. Also, this is still closed. Forget about you for a moment. Alright, bomb bug's been scared onto the altar. I go there, I blow it up, I go away, it's been sacrificed. This opens. Cool. Still got a flying snake that I can let out by... Having killed the other one that I let out here? 
So this is either statue or flying snake. Both of these are. It's not going to be anything else. Okay, so one of them is a statue, one of them is a flying snake, because the statue doesn't do anything else for me as far as I know. Both are just as compatible? Sort of? Nah, flying snake's incompatible until this explosion has gone off. Statue's the only one who can, like, make a move up in here. Or up in... in. No, that's not... that's not anything. Ah, but what if... Ah, but the poison! The poison! What about the poison? I'm looking for ways to, like, lock the statue in place somewhere in here. Sort of temporarily. Ooh! I saw one! Check this out. Shoot. Sure. Mm, that's fine. Mm, it could be better. Could be more better than that. Okay, let's awaken you then. Here? But that dropped! <sighs> anyway, ignoring that that dropped, you're in the water now. Not good enough. If I could walk there, I'd still be two turns short. I have to teleport two to the right right now. Step here and make that kill. How does this poison get erased? Maybe it doesn't? Okay, trying some other stuff. Just just to just to have things to be trying. this do? Nothing. Nothing. Amusingly enough, I can get this back out. Alright, well, that was today's attempt. I got closer, but I have this little unresolvable snarl here that I just don't know what to do with. Maybe I need another macro level approach. But yeah, like, I really gotta hone in on this and figure out what it is that I can do with it, so... Maybe next time I'll have some new ideas? I, I feel like I've, I've made some real progress on this, it's just... Just I got this one last thing that might call everything else into question. Alright, I'll see you next time for hopefully one last thing.